Everyday Math, Grade 3, Topic 1, Lesson 1. Miss Wit bought three boxes of paint with five jars of paint in each box. What is the total number of jars Miss Wit bought? Solve the problem any way you choose. First, take note of what the problem tells you. Miss Wit bought three boxes of paint with five jars of paint in each box. So what I might start doing is draw three boxes of paint. Here are my three boxes. And if I remember, looking up here, we are told that there are five jars of paint in each box. So now, I will draw five jars in each box. Remember, your drawings do not have to look exactly like the objects that are talked about in the problem. You can see that I have five boxes, I'm sorry, three boxes, and there are five jars in each box. The question asks us, what is the total number of jars Miss Whit bought? I can see that there are five, 10, 15 jars. So Miss Whit bought 15 jars of paint. So how can you find the total number of objects in equal groups? Let's look below. Jessie used three bags to bring home the goldfish she won at the fair. She put the same number of goldfish in each bag. How many goldfish did she win? You can use counters to show the groups. You can draw pictures. Remember there are three bags. We can see our three bags of goldfish here. She put the same number of goldfish in each bag. Notice she has eight goldfish in each bag. You can show three groups of eight goldfish using counters. Here is a group of eight, another group of eight, and another group of eight. These are equal groups of eight. You can see that it is 8 plus 8 plus 8. We use a bar diagram to show you. The line shows us the total number, which is what we are trying to find. We know that there are three groups, represented by our three boxes, and there are eight fish in each group. So this diagram shows us 8 plus 8 plus 8. And that equals 24. Multiplication is an operation that gives you the total of number when you join equal groups. So we joined our three bags of goldfish, which each had eight in each bag, which actually shows us three times eight. We have eight here three times. Eight fish in three bags. 3 times 8 is 24. Something important to know that the numbers you are multiplying together are called factors. The answer to that multiplication problem is called a product. Factors are the numbers that are being multiplied and the product is the answer to the multiplication problem. You can also write equations. An unknown is a symbol that stands for a number in an equation. When we look back to our initial problem, we knew that we were putting 8 plus 8 plus 8 together, but until we solved it, it was an unknown answer. We make it an equation by answering that unknown by adding 8 plus 8 plus 8. Again, we can turn these repeated addition problems into multiplication. We have 
three eighths. Eight three times. So three times eight is twenty four. Jesse won twenty four goldfish. Now let's take a look at our convince me problem. Suppose Jesse won five bags of goldfish, still with eight in each gold, eight in each bag. So let's draw a bar diagram to represent an addition equation and a multiplication equation to represent the problem. So we know we have five bags. So I have five boxes and there are eight goldfish in each box. Remember the line at the top represents the total we have, which is our unknown. So our equation could be five times eight equals our unknown, or eight plus eight plus eight plus eight plus eight also equals our unknown. So, how many total fish does Jessie have now? She has 40 fish. Can you write a multiplication equation for this addition problem right here? How many times do we have five here? We have it four times. So four times five equals 20. So yes, we can because we have four equal groups of five. Can you write three plus four plus seven equals four as a multiplication equation? No, we cannot. Why? Because the groups are not equal. Notice in number six, we have two equal groups of five counters. So we have five one two times or five plus five. How many counters total do we have? Ten. Again we have two groups of five equaling ten counters. Luke says you can always add and you can always multiply to join groups. Is he correct? Explain your answer. So one answer, is he correct, yes or no, and explain your answer. He is not correct. Why is he not correct? I can add to put together groups when the groups are equal or unequal, like 2 plus 4 plus 5 equals 11. But I can't multiply these things because they're not equal groups. If I had three groups of 2, I can multiply three groups of two and get six. So again, Luke is not correct because I can add to put together groups of equal or unequal groups. So if I had a group of two fish and four fish and five fish, that's 11 fish, but I can't multiply. If I had one, two, three groups of two fish, then I can multiply. So I can only multiply when the groups are equal. So Mark has 12 ears of field corn to make table decorations. He arranges them in two groups of six. 
How can you represent to this? Choose all that apply. All that apply. That means there was likely more than one correct answer. If he has 12 ears of corn to make 12 decorations, to make table decorations, and he arranges them into two groups of six, is 12 times two correct? No. If he has two groups of six, would two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two represent how he re made his table decorations? While this might equal 12, this is showing me six groups of two. So this is not going to represent how he arranged his ears of corn. Six plus six, here's a group of six, here's a group of six. Does that equal 12? Yes, it does. And what about two times six? Two groups of six equals 12. So we have another. What about this, 12 plus two? plus six. It does not represent our problem.